someone there! Gonna splatter your b- Time to die! Time to die! I hear some. Let's play, little human! <laughs> Human!
Hi. Finally, my dear champion, you have cleansed my swamp of those repugnant green creatures. If I ever see one of those repugnant things again, I promise I will eliminate them all from your world. What are you going to do now that the swamp is free of super mutants? I suppose I'll go for a walk and start planting some death bell seeds. Despite its terrible name, it's a very beautiful flower. I think it will decorate the swamp nicely. I am glad to serve you, my goddess. I must admit that even I feel better after eliminating those creatures. Finally, you have finally begun to accept me as your goddess. I knew that sooner or later your heart would yield to me. You have done an excellent job, my champion, and as your goddess I am proud of you. Do you plan on leaving this place at some point? Jumping to another plane or something like that? Hmm, not for now, dear. In this world, I have you, and you are all I need for the time being. So what's next? Are we done in this place? Aren't you forgetting something, my dear? I'm glad your mind is focused on my needs. Still, take your caps. Let's not forget the protocols. Right. I almost forgot. Thank you. So, what's next? What's next? That's a good question, darling. I think you've done enough for me. You've entertained me immensely, and I feel I should reward you for all of this. You mean something more than just the caps? Caps? My dear, you are in the presence of a goddess. I have infinitely better things to give you than caps. I haven't felt this sense of doubt in me for thousands of years. I think I will need some time to decide on the gift I will bestow upon you. Find something to do in the meantime. I need to think. Lady Debella, if I may, there is a task I would like to assign to your champion. I believe this would give you the time you need to clear your mind. This is perfect, my dear hunter. I lend you my champion. I will use this time to decide then. Very well, champion. Now that Lady Debella is occupied, I have a task for you. Are you ready to return to the swamp once more? Return to the swamp again? Are there more insects or mutants that need to be exterminated? 
That's right. Although now other types of creatures have arrived, and within this new group, there are some really interesting ones. In your world, these creatures are known as Death Claws. I want you to help me hunt down three of them. Damn. How many are we talking about? If the swamp is full of Death Claws, this is going to get really complicated. It's only three. Don't worry about a direct fight with these creatures. I've marked them with electric projectiles that Amoli gave me. As long as the effect of the electric projectile lasts, these creatures will only flee, so you need to hunt them as quickly as possible. If they're not going to attack, why do I need to hunt them as quickly as possible? Can't I just take my time and set some traps? Because other creatures have also been attracted to the swamp. The remains of meat tend to attract all sorts of creatures. You'll encounter many zombies, dogs, some giant mud crabs, and things like that. If you take too long to hunt the death claws, these creatures might end up hunting you. All right. I think I understand. In that case, I better get into the swamp before it fills up with more creatures. So, do I have your permission to enter the swamp, Lady Debella? Um, hello? Are you there? Yes. Oh, of course, of course. You can speak with my dear master gunsmith. I've already spoken with him. What I'm asking is if I can go back into the swamp. Oh, of course, you can do whatever you want, my dear champion. Good luck.
Stone is key. Hey. At last you have returned, my dear champion. Did you enjoy your task? My dear hunter seems very pleased with your results. Have you cleared your mind? Have you decided what you're going to give me? I'm glad to see you're eager to receive your gift, but let's finish everything else first, and then we'll have time to talk about that. Yeah, that was quite stimulating. It's always good to feel the spirit of Hercene running through my veins. Hercene. How... Who... Who is Hercene? What am I saying? Hercene? Hmm. I think I understand what's happening. Very well. No more hunting tasks for you. The past of my dear master gunsmith is linked to Hercene, and part of his Daedric essence is intertwining with you. Don't worry about this, dear. It's just a reflection of his mind. You have nothing to be concerned about. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed the hunt. Why does the Master Gunsmith have such a passion for hunting? It almost seems like a religion to him. It's due to his past, dear. My dear Hunter was a part of Hercene's worshippers for a time. Hercene? Can I know who he is? If he has worshippers, is he a god like you? Hercene is a Daedric prince. He is the huntsman of the princes and the father of man-beasts. But he is in no way a god like me. He is just a small and insignificant being who loves to enslave his hunters. Enslaved? Does that mean the master gunsmith was a slave to this Daedric prince? He used to be, although he isn't anymore. I don't know the details of his past with her scene, but he found a way to break his bond with him. Is it possible to break free from the control of a Daedric prince? Especially for a mortal? It's not common, but my dear hunter was formidable in his craft, even before becoming my worshipper. If anyone could do something like that, it would be my hunter. Anyway, it's not very polite to talk about others, so I think we should leave it at that. How- oh, of course. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Don't worry, my dear champion. It's not bad to be curious. Anyway, I hunted the three targets, and I want my payment for the job. Of course, dear. Here is the payment my dear Master Gunsmith left for you. Enjoy it. Have any of your worshippers ever abandoned you? Excuse me, what kind of question is that? Of course not. When you create bonds of love and strengthen them to the maximum, they become indestructible. None of my worshippers will ever abandon me. So what's next? Will you tell me what the grand prize you'll give me is? Of course, dear. But this is not the place. We'll return to my sanctuary. That's the only temple that will serve to prepare you for what's coming.